So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. We really we can't be that, making noise, though. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. You said that a lot, Before though. The year is out. We are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital. And we need to leave. Yep. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands oh between gosh. us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Oh, shit. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say usually. So, quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Of course. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I'm at Le Gras. a boat there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Hmm. Sure. Okay, follow me. Dutch. Yeah. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Isaiah's <laughs> lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. That's I right. Oh, just got man. a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch. Is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? Jeez, Dutch. If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. I didn't me. say that, Dutch. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Right, no this shit. It feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Micah. Anyway, here we are. I was like the last person I would expect to have loyalty. 
Mike is gonna stab us. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Hello, Thomas. Thomas. The boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone right. can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long right. if we can find him. He live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big oh, one. that's great. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Ah! <laughs> something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Jester Dutch. Gunslinger. This way. Come on. This I love way. a one Follow strap overall. Stay on the higher ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Yeah, that's a good point. Got a couple crayfish traps up ahead. Oh. It's like the last time of Mr. night Dutch, I'd want to. Check the traps with me. Why, why would you want to check at these at night? This one's empty. All right, I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Ah! Uh. You show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. <laughs> now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. <laughs> You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except That's a good way to look at it. Sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Let's well, see, so you want me to check this, right? Oh my gosh. This is a way of life. I say is too. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. So why they like Tyrannosaurus Rex. Right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find her. Oh boy. Again, could, why did you choose this time of night to look at traps? This trap stuck in the mud. It happens. Ugh. Yes. Ooh. Okay, that was weird. 
guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. A I bull? Guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Ah! Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I, I suppose this can wait. Let's go. <laughs> Hope it bites you first, Dutch. Fucking Arthur Torture, poor Dutch. Hold up. Seeing a mating season. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. Uh -huh. Let's see what the hell's chasing them away. Our lights? We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Oh, that's great. I don't think I want to. I'm on the edge. Hey, someone there? If like an alligator, if you're in a canoe and an alligator comes up to you, you're supposed to whack them on the nose with the paddle. Same applies to sharks. Does it apply to alligator? I think, yeah, because if you whack them on the nose, it, it triggers a sense. Like, in anything, if you hit them in the nose. Not even just like, like in anything in general. Boy, when you hit when you hit your nose, your eyes water and shit. So, is that him? No, up here. That I thought. Be him. Hey, you in the tree? What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, they nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Oh big shit! I saw a big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat. Chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. It's fine, man. Yeah. And uh, where'd this monster swim off to? Ah! I'm just clipping right through the branches. I thought someone was coming at me. I got the scare. It's over here. It's stuck. I don't know. Fuck that. Do it inside the boat. I got it loose. Jump. Good man. Alright, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Jeez. 
How big's this alligator that knocked you off this big ass boat? Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. Buyers. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Now, boy, I think we hit a tree stump. Uh huh. Clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. You'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of cracked gunslingers here. If the guns load, you'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. We're about to watch a man die. That was a really weird, weird just jumped right in like a rock. That's like uh, no. he still has it. Oh gosh. Fire off a couple of warning shots just to pretend you care. I got you covered. Oh god, no! Please hurry! Come on! Uh Oh my gosh. Here, take him, take him, take him. Oh my gosh. I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. Oh gosh. <laughs> You need to put pressure on it. Fucking hell. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> No, 
I'll switch. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone that way. I think it's had enough. Now, Jesus, can we get back now? <sighs> You're gonna be okay, kid. <sighs> Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little ones ain't. Holy shit, you are ugly. I didn't even notice that. I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squealed. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Garlic? Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Brunty. Bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Heard a lot oh, sure. of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. Apparently so. I love I still have my hat on. Welcome on. Sir. Welcome on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to be in a better place. <laughs> Stay calm. <laughs> Breathe deep and repent. Or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold. Is that Bill Clinton? The calm removal of this man's existence. <laughs> In incredible. He's nearly dead. He's nearly so dead. Yeah, this ain't humane. Oh, his life made you're, spo you're supposed to spo put like a sponge on the top of their head. Is peaceful. No, it's not. Somebody shoot me, please. Is he dead? Oh, let's get up. They don't seem overly humane to me. No oh, shit. I think it's mighty fine. <laughs> Is that a little Whoa. person? That's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, Archery. she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her, and... Uh, there was supposed to be a little person no, mission in, uh, the first one. You've made love to her. You can actually you? find the audio she's to it on YouTube. She's a succubus. Ah, stay away from me. Hey, partner, come back here. Huh. I'm not taking you back, I'm just... Oh, okay. Uh, let's just where the hell did he go? Well, he is pretty amazing. I don't know why I think I'm gonna catch him with a rope, I just gotta chase him. Now where you gone? 
Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. You don't know her, Arthur. He obviously doesn't want to. He's probably terrified. Over here, dummy. Well, you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey. Uh, hold on there. Ah, so damn it. Long, dummy. Oh gosh. Where are you? How the hell? <laughs> How the hell does he do this? Oh, don't get hit by the train. The fuck? No oh, shit. It's making just enough noise. Oh no. Oh no. Poor guy. I ain't back. I'm gone on the next train to the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes, the same cheap tricks, in a package half the size? You got Bertram, you got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you are going to be pulling oh. rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Uh, some <laughs> what? friends. Some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family. As much as it pains me to say it. Family. Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to Mama. Oh, Please. I did miss you. Aww. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check Why is everybody going to San Denis? Yeah. No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I do <laughs> to deserve you too. I like him. It ruined the West. Arthur, there you are. Come yes. on. Yes. Suddenly not drunk. Thomas. Let's get going. Right you are. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside. <laughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. 
That's all we got. Oh fuck. Hey, pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Oh, Jazz with us. Sweet. It's weird seeing John in different clothes. I know you can change his clothes in the first game, but it's not like as drastic as like changing his shirt, putting him with a different pair of pants, that sort of deal. Drastic, tedious, however you want to put it. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. I thought said pomade. Let's go. Get that waffle. You see those two? Stay out of sight. Where? Oh. Woo. You got a shot on him? Hello. Nice. Oh shit, I killed two of them. Dutch just got shot clean in the shoulder. Oh, that reached. I think it did. But that's barely reaching. Fuck are you. Bill, so passionate. I don't know if that's concern or just him being tough. Break it. We got more inside. Oh, nice. How the hell did he get shot? Ah. I need some miracle. But not have miracles. Bippity boppy. <laughs> oh, hi. Listen, what the hell is that noise? It's cat wanting out. Oh, my animals are cray cray. Oh. Howdy. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. Oh, I'll loot him first. Ha ha ha. Take from the rich and give to us. I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Walter. Of course, cops are called. Kidnapping. Stay with me, Arthur. Yeah, just say y'all gotta protect me. I got a body in my hand. Well, kidnapping is a charge. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. That he's gonna get shot in the ass. Come on. I'm sitting. You're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> All your men. All your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me? I run a city. <laughs> oh, yeah? And when the law catch up to you, you will die like We're nothing. Feel that giant I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things. That you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will ha! find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be. Our oh, friends of Pinkerton's are gonna come and rescue you, you repulsive little maggot! Call them now! You call them! Jesus. Philosophy books cover feeding a fellow, the goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. Fuck. I figure it might as well be him. Well, where do we go from here?
How long is this fucking chapter?